hello viewers and welcome to my youtube channel in this video today i've got the latest news like you know i always give you the latest news regarding immigration for those that are inside canada and those that are outside i'll be telling you information about provincial nominee i'll be telling you information regarding the parent and grandparent sponsorship i've got some news for international students too so you want to you hang on tight too and also i've got news also for um those that applied for sponsor sponsor your spouse in canada and lots and lots of information so you want to hang on tight stay tuned I've got those information for you today. All right, viewers, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know, this is Canada Reality with your own boy, MC Bernardino. On this channel, I dish out content on Wednesday and Thursday just to keep you in the loop regarding immigration news. So if this is your first time on this YouTube channel, please take some few moments, subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a notification bell. Click on it so that anytime I drop a video, you'll be among the first to get it. And for our returning viewers, thank you very much. Please make up your mind to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't and also endeavor to also share this video on your social media handles. All right, so let's hit the ground. Wrong. All right, so my first news today would be that to let you know that the parent and grandparent sponsorship for the year 2020 that, um, that, that has been concluded an invitation has been sent out to the lucky um, uh, applicant. So invitation has been sent out and there's no more invitation to be sent out again. So once again, I want to use this opportunity to say congratulations to those that have been extended the invitation to sponsor their parents and grandparents. And for some of us that were not invited like me, because I also applied to, I was unfortunate not to get um, an invitation. It's okay. I will always try this 2021. So congratulations once again to those that have received the invitation. And for those that do not, we will give it a shot again next year. So those of you that don't know about parent and grandparent sponsorship, it's an avenue for you if you're a permanent resident in Canada or a citizen to sponsor your parent or your grandparent to come and live with you in Canada. And by extension, after 10 years, they can receive pension because they are also Canadian permanent resident or citizen. So once again, congratulations to those that were invited. And also for those that are invited, it's worthy to know that you have 60 days from the days of your from the particular day you were invited to submit all those documents you claim you have. So you want to make a while the sunshine and don't want to leave anything lagging behind. All right, for those of you that missed my last video, I'll just quickly give you a, a brief information about it. So for international students that studied in Canada and uh, probably your work permit, your postgraduate work permit got expired because of COVID-19 in the year 2020, you could not get a job or, your, or it's expiring in the next four months. So you have another opportunity again to apply because of the new policy that was uh, promulgated by Canada government for you to apply for the new policy and with that you can get 18 months open work permit. So I did a video already on that so you want to check my playlist for that information. That particular information is more linked towards those that are in Canada that had their work permit. So if you do not, if you are outside Canada, that information is actually not for you but just to let you know. If you need more information, I also link the description in the previous video I did. So you might want to check it out so that you can learn more about that. Alright, so the next news that I have for you is on the latest express entry and by venture, the first express entry draw for the year 2021. The draw was linked towards Canadian experience class. That's for those that are in Canada, you have you school in Canada and you have work experience in Canada. That's the Canadian experience class. So the draw was done on 8th of January and 4,750 applicants were told to in, were sent invitation to apply for uh, for permanent for their permanent residence in Canada, and the CRS score was 461. Yes, you might want to say it's a little bit on the low side. Yes, it is because it is geared towards CEC Canadian Experience Class. The last all encompassing draw I think was a uh, four. Can't really remember, but 468 or 478. I can't really remember now. So. Once again, congratulations to those that were invited, 4,750 that were invited. And for those of you that are still in the pool, keep your, keep your fingers crossed. Try as much as possible to do all you, the best you can just to increase your score in the pool. And I wish you good luck. All right, so next, I'll be moving, moving to uh, update on provincial nominee. That's another avenue for you to migrate into Canada. We have 10 provinces and they operate what is called provincial nominee. And we have three territories. They are also not left out. So let me quickly keep you in the loop on the recent update in the last one week on some of the provinces that did their draw and what the score was. So on January 13, Ontario issued 146 invitation to express entry candidates through the French speaking skilled workers stream and another 338 through the skilled trade stream. So yes, they did two draws and uh, one was geared towards those that speak French. I mean, it's an advantage if you're bilingual, if you can speak French, it's an advantage in the express entry pool and also in Ontario and other provinces too. 
and the next draw that was done that uh, 338 were sent invitation was geared towards Q3. So, I mean, I've said it times without number that you don't really have to be a blue white collar or blue collar white collar job holder for you to migrate into Canada. If you have skilled like a weather, electrician, plumber, whatever fashion designer, you can still come into Canada through the federal skill trade or through some of these provincial nominees. So you might not just want to close your options, open your options, apply to into some of these uh, provincial nominee. For those of you that do not really know much about this provincial nominee, I'm trying to do a compilation on a video that will tell you more about the prominent province that you can actually apply to so you can expect that video. So next, on January 12th, British Columbia invited eight, 80 um, candidates to apply for provincial nomination through four streams of BC provincial nominees. So British Columbia, they are not left out. For more information about their provincial nominee, visit their website where you can learn more about it because they have like four or five streams um, under their provincial nominee and you can actually fit in into any of them. So you might want to check it out. Last but not least, on January 7th, Saskatchewan invited 385 candidates from the Express Entry and Occupation in Demand stream of the SINP. Only certain occupation were considered, so Saskatchewan. It's one of the easiest provinces through which you can get nominated. So you might want to look, at, uh, look it up online, Ch just Google it and check for it, and you might be able to fit into any of the parts under the provincial nominee. So next on my news will be the restriction of border closure between US and Canada. Prime Minister said it yesterday that the border has been closed again, the border has been shut down again up until February 21. I mean, that has been happening since last year, March. So, again, we have it up to February 21, and we're not even sure if by February 21, the border will be closed. So, that's just to keep you... Alright, so my next news is based on um, Ontario Nominee Immigration, um, ONIP. So, for those that apply for the provincial nominee uh, by Ontario. So, the news I have for you is that as of January 1st, Immigrants whose application is not approved in Ontario Immigrant Program can ask for an internal review. So, did you apply for ONIP, Ontario Pro Provincial Nominee, and your application was not approved because of one thing or the other, and you don't know about it? So, in the past, people suffer from that lack of information. They, are, they don't actually know why the application was not approved. They cannot question it. But as of January 1st, 2021, this year, you can ask for internal review I mean, if you feel that your application was not accepted, you can ask for an internal review where they will do an audit to let you know why your ONIP was rejected. That's the good news, and that's fair for applicants also. So I've also got news for those that want to sponsor their spouse or you want to sponsor your minor children into Canada. I have good news, good news for you. From 2021 to up until 2023, Canada will be welcoming, in that particular area, Canada will be welcoming 80,000 immigrants. I mean in that particular stream of sponsoring your spouse or sponsoring your minor child or children as the case is. So over 80,000 immigrants will be welcome in that particular stream from year 2021 to the year 2023. That's the good news because there are so many people that their spouse is here and the other partner is in the other whatever country outside Canada and you have been longing or oh, when am I going to see my partner or you have a minor child outside. You So with that 80,000 you could be fortunate. So what I can just tell you is that submit that application because you could be among the 80,000 that will be welcome into Canada within this time frame. All right, viewers, I hope you understood all the information that I brought for you today on provincial nominee, express entry, spouse sponsorship, international postgraduate work permit, and lots and lots of information. If you feel you are not clear about those information that I shared with you today, you need more clarification, drop it in the comment section. I will do as much as possible to answer your question. And also, you can also follow me on my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, Canada Reality, can also throw me questions on those platforms too. I will try to also justify those questions. Please, if you haven't subscribed, it doesn't cost you anything. Take some few minutes, subscribe to this YouTube channel, turn on the notification so that anytime I drop a video, you'll be among the first to get it. And also endeavor to hit on the likes button and share this video on your social media handles. Thank you very much. Till I come back to you again on this YouTube channel, Canada Reality with your own boy MC Bernardino. Don't forget, I do two videos in a week, on Wednesday and on Friday. See you in my next video.